Hey, welcome back team. You know what? Everything we've been doing is preparing us for this moment. Things are getting harder. We're talking about word problems. Scary. Okay. This is probably one of the biggest headaches, hardest subjects in all of algebra for students to get to understand. So it's not really hard, but it's Ah, man, people like it when the equation's written out and I can solve it. It's a puzzle that I can see. This is, this is more. This is too hard. It's really not. What you have to do is just slow down and read the problem. Because the problem is basically going to give us those equations that we're used to, but those equations are in word form rather than in, you know, equate, written out equation form. So let's start here. And let's see. There's a lot of stuff on the board. There's four problems. One, two, three, four. Let's see if we can solve them, okay? With your help, we can do it, okay? All right. And, and, you know, always the way you should be working this is push pause and see if you can get the same thing that I'm getting because I know how to do these problems, but I want to make sure you know. And then, uh, and then push play and see if you get the same answer I do. So here we go. Now, these, this problem, this word statement here, may have more than one equation contained in that problem statement. So let's read it one sentence at a time. Number one, one number is four times as large as another. Okay, when you see the word is, just think equals, okay? So, so let's just make some variables for this, this equation. Let's just call it x. So one number, x, is four times as much as uh, another number, right? So this number is so big, you have to multiply that other number times 4 to be at the same size, right? Okay, so x equals 4y. That's an equation. Let's keep going. Their sum is 45. Now, what does the word sum mean? Sum means to add up, right? That word means addition. So if you add the two numbers together, you get 45. So here's another equation. x plus y is equal to 45. Now it says find the numbers. Okay, here's where algebra is going to kick in, okay? Look here. We already know what x is equal to, don't we? x is equal to 4y, okay? So let's just take this x that we already know, and let's just plug him in to that other equation right there, okay? So if I substitute this, if I substitute this business here, n for x, what do we get? Well, we'll get this. 4y, there I plugged him in, plus another y is equal to 45. And so what is, uh, what is this equal to? This is 4 plus y, 4 y's plus another y is 5y equals 45. And how do we get rid of the 5? We know how to do this, don't we, gang? Divide it by 5, divide it by 5. And so y is equal to, the 5's cancel out. How many times does 5 go into 45? Nine times, right? Okay. So y is equal to 9. What, well, then what is x equal to? How do I know that? Well, we just, we just solved for that guy, didn't we? So if we put a 9 right in there for y, what do we get? x is equal to... 4 times 9. What's 4 times 9? 36. X equals 36. Okay, how about this? Is this true? Is 9 plus 36 equal to 45? It is. We did it. There you go. Let's try again. Let's try this guy. Okay. One number is 7 more than another number. Okay, so one number, let's just call him X, is, there's our equals to, right? Seven more, what does seven more mean? I have to add seven to it, right? Then another number. So let's just say y plus seven, okay? So which of these two numbers is smallest? X or y? That's smallest, isn't it? Because I have to add seven to him just to equal the other guy, right? So this is the big number, big. This is the little number right there, isn't it? Okay? And you can do that just by logic, right? I've got to add 7 to you to equal this guy over here, right? 
Let's see what the next sentence says. Twice the bigger number. Okay, that's, that's the bigger number, right? So twice him, 2x, is equal to, okay, that's pretty self-explanatory, four times the smaller number. Okay, and four times the smaller number, the smaller number is y. So how about four y's? Ooh, decreased by two. What does decreased mean? Minus, okay, minus two. Okay, find the numbers. We got this, don't we? So we already know what x is equal to, right? It's equal to that business right there. So let's plug all of this stuff right here, whoop, in for x. Now, 2 is multiplied by x, right? So we have to be really careful when we substitute here because we've got this. 2 times, okay, I'll plug it in for x, y plus 7. But look, I put him in parentheses because what's in the parentheses? x, all of that business, right? Is equal to 4y minus 2. Oh, we know how to do this now, don't we? What is this, distributive property? Zoop. There's two distrib distribute those two guys, right? And so I get this. 2y plus 14 is equal to 4y minus 2. Okay? Let's move the 2y to the other side. So he becomes, he is positive over here, so he's going to be negative over there. 4y minus 2y is how many? 2y is equal to, and let's move this negative 2 to the other side. 14 plus 2 is equal to 16. Divide both sides by 2, and we get what? y is equal to, right? That divided by 2 is just y. What's that divided by 2? 8. y is equal to 8. Okay, then what is x equal to? Do you know? Well, again, go back, put your 8 right there, and we get 8 plus 7 equals x. So 8 plus 7 is... 15. Okay? We got this, don't we? It's hard. This is hard. I'm not, uh, this is, I agree. This is a, this is tricky stuff here. Okay? Now how about this? The sum of two numbers is 10. That means if you add two numbers together, we'll call this number X and we'll call this number Y. If I add this plus that, I need to equal to 10, right? Sum, of course, means add, right? So x plus y equals 10. So if x is 2, then what is y? What goes here? You know, 8, right? 2 plus 8 equals 10. Or 10 minus 2 equals 8, right? Either way. How about this one? 3 plus meh equals 10. How about 7, right? But this one, 9 plus something equals 10. That's 1. Ooh, this one's harder. It's in, it's in terms of x. Well, we already knew that, didn't we? So x plus something equals 10. Well, what? What goes here? Okay. Well, if this guy is y, right? If this guy is y, then we have this. x plus y equals 10. So really what I want to know is, what does, what does y equal? We'll just move this guy right here, right? Move him to the other side. y equals 10 minus x. So 10 minus x needs to go there, doesn't it? Okay? That's not too tough, is it? Okay, one more, gang. Here we go. The sum, okay, that means adding, right, of two numbers is 12. Okay, so... Um, x plus y is equal to 12. All right, I got that. I got that. Um, four times the smaller, and we don't know which one of those is the smaller, so we just pick one, right? Four times the smaller. So four times the smaller, and times just means multiply, right? Okay, multiply. Um... Four times the smaller is one less. Oh, this is tough, isn't it? Four times the smaller is, what does is mean? That's equals. So four times the smaller is equal to one less. And what does less mean? That means subtract, right? 
than three times the larger number. And we assume if the X is the smaller, then Y is the larger, right? So three times Y, right? Three times the larger, and then minus one. You gotta take one away from that. Minus one. Find the numbers. Oh, we got it, right? Okay, we can do this. Let's, uh, let's give us some room to come up here and work, okay? We already understand this one, okay? So x plus y equals 12. How about again? Let's get, let's get x all by himself. Let's move y to the other side. Whoop. So x, what does that become? It's equal to 12 minus y, right? Because the y is positive. Well, here we're moving to the other side. It becomes negative, okay? And then we have this. The other equation is 4x is equal to 3y minus 1. So now we can take x, we can plug all of that business in right there for x, right? Again, watch your parentheses here, okay? So 4, here comes x, 12 minus y, okay, is equal to 3y minus 1. All right, we've got a distributive property here, okay? So 4 times 12, that's uh, 48, right? minus 4y, right? 4 times a negative is a negative. It's equal to 3y minus 1, okay? How about we move the y to the other side, right? So we'll, we'll add 4y over here. We'll add 4y over there. And we'll do two steps in one. We'll add 1 there and add 1 over here, right? So that thing goes to 0. That thing goes to 0. So what do we have over here? 1 plus 48 is 49. And what do we have on the other side? We have 3y plus 4y, which is 7y. And then divide both sides by 7. Then y is equal to 49 divided by 7. Hey, that's 7, isn't it? So there's y. How do we find x? Well, remember... If we just found y, if he's 7, what plus 7 is equal to 12? I don't know. Well, let's move to the other side. What's 12 minus 7? Well, that's uh, it's 5, isn't it? So x is equal to 5. Because 5 plus 7 equals 12. There you go. This is, we're going to practice this some more. This is probably... One of the most difficult concepts to kind of get, get hold of in algebra. But you've got to remember, the words are telling you what the equation looks like. The word is means equals. The word sum means add. Decreased is negative, right? Those words are giving you um, your algebraic equations. So let's see if we can do some more.